Hi students, welcome to EduZone online classes. Okay, today I am going to explain you how to schedule a meeting. Okay, once you click the zoom icon, so you can see a home page something like this. Okay, here at the top you have new meeting, join meeting and schedule and share screen. Today I am going to explain you how to schedule a meeting. Okay, so what you should do, click the schedule. Okay, once you tap the schedule, okay, you will get a screen like this. Okay, in this screen, so they are at the, you see the top, EduZone Zoom meeting. So what you should do, so you can uh, make a topic for that meeting. So now I am going to make a topic, okay. Grade 11. Okay, grade 11. Accounting with... Help me, Hassan. Okay, accounting with help me, Hassan. So that is the topic. Okay, so once you done with that, you should select the date. So here today, uh, I'll select the date today here. Okay, so all the meeting is on thirteenth. Okay, I am going to put. I am going to click the set. So once you tap that one, so what you can do uh, here, you should select the from or to. Okay, so I am going to click the time is. I think our class it's. 4.30 so I'm going to schedule this as 4.30 so if you click okay 4.30 okay it's 4.30 I'm going to set and then click the set after that 2 uh, it's 6.30 6.30 means 18.30 so 18.30 the time is okay set okay so the time zone should be GMT plus 5.30 the time zone should be GMT plus 5.30 okay india standard time okay so after that you should click the what repeat okay so if you want to repeat this meeting so every week you are going to repeat this meeting means what you can do you can click the repeat button so here it's never if you if you don't want to create uh, you can click the never if you want to repeat that meeting you can click the what this one okay so once you tap that one okay you can select okay every day or every week or every two weeks or every month or every year okay so if you click every day so every day the same time will be uh, there will be a what meeting same time so no need to schedule again and again so if you click every week okay if you click every week so every week no need to schedule again and again so what you can do same uh, with the same user id uh, you can start the meetings so i'll click every week okay so after that end repeat so what you can do you can put an end date so i'll just put this month end okay as an end date okay so once you done with that so uh, don't uh, click this one use personal id uh, don't cl uh, click that one okay uh, better you put a what recurring meeting if you want a meeting for your password what you can do you can click this one if you don't want a password okay if you don't want a password it's an open meeting means like a seminar means no don't put a password okay if you need a password if you tap this one there will be a password if you don't want uh, just untick that, that one so after that uh, here meeting options are there host video on participant video on if you want to on the uh, host video or participant video so what you can do you can on those if you don't want the videos mean just off it so after that here audio options are there always try to give the audio for telephone and audio device sorry telephone and device audio it's better okay so after that the, the already tick is there so i'll click the ok so once you are done with that okay so you have advanced options so you have what advanced options so what are the advanced options are there okay so you can enable a waiting room so you can enable a waiting room so in that waiting room the participant will come there okay so after seeing the participant who, who are the people are there who are the people you want to invite only uh, you, you are going to invite those people okay so you can enable the waiting room okay after that allow join before host so allow join the meeting everyone okay uh, okay or otherwise you can put some restrictions there okay so if you want to record the meeting you can put the uh, automatically record so here uh, you have two options you can rec record in the local computer or cloud okay if you are a paid customer means only you can record it in the cloud otherwise you should record it in your local computer okay and if you want to add the session in your calendar means it will remind you before you, uh, before 30 minutes or 50 minutes it will remind you if you want you can do the same settings here when you are selecting the time if you are not a paid subs, uh, paid customer so for the zoom 
okay if you have a free version of the zoom means okay when you are selecting the time it will allow only you a 30 minutes it will allow you only a 30 minutes okay so you should select the time uh, 6 30 to 4 o'clock something like not 30 minutes exactly 45 minutes okay so what you can do you can select 45 minutes time period there okay so 6 30 to that relevant 45 minutes you can schedule it more than that you can't schedule okay so this is the way how to schedule a meeting once you are done with everything so now what you are going to do here at the top you can see this thing called done so i'm going to tap the done once you are done with the scheduling once you are done with the scheduling okay ah uh, you will get a interface like this so what you can do just click the email or gmail okay so if you click if i click this one you can share the email id with your friends so that means this is the zoom link so what you can do you can share the zoom link with your friends okay so same thing if you know the email address if you you can share with the email or otherwise what you can do you can copy these emails okay what you can do you can copy this one okay once you uh, if you after okay after copying this one so i'm going to copy up only up to this once you copy this one so what you can do you can send it to through your whatsapp if you want to send uh, this meeting id to anyone through the whatsapp okay what you can do you can send it to your whatsapp friends that's it okay uh, so if they join if they click the link or if they use in the you by using the what personal meeting id what they can do they can join the one they can join the meeting so that is a simple thing okay uh, that is the way of creating a what uh, that, that is the way of scheduling a what uh, zoom meeting okay for more updates subscribe our channel thank you very much